Hey, would you like to know which type of sensors used in water treatment plants? Let's find out in this video. This is Raj from Radical Tech Art, your process automation strategist. Water has many components inside it, so only one type of sensor is not enough to monitor the quality. In this video, we will cover sensors like conductivity, pH, ORP, turbidity sensors and dissolved oxygen sensors. Let's understand first what is conductivity sensor. As the name implies, conductivity means the ability of water to conduct the current. It is one of the important criteria in determining the water quality. This ability to conduct electricity is directly related to the concentration of dissolved ions in the water, such as salts, minerals and other impurities. But what exactly does conductivity tell us? Low conductivity means a lower ability of water to conduct electricity and such water is of pure quality. This is because in contrast, if water has ions from dissolved salts and other inorganic materials like chlorides, sulfides, carbon components, then it means it has dissolved impurities. It will conduct current due to the large presence of ions, so higher conductivity means higher the ability of water to conduct electricity and such water is poor quality. By continuously measuring the conductivity, operators can assess the level of contamination or the presence of undesirable substance in the water. This information helps in making real-time adjustment to the treatment process to ensure that water meets quality standards and is safe for consumption. Conductivity sensors typically consist of two electrodes separated by a known distance. When the immerse in water, the electrodes measure the electrical conductivity between them. This measurement is then converted into a readable value, often expressed in the units like micro siemens per centimeter or milli siemens per centimeter, indicating the water's conductivity level. Now let's understand what is pH sensor. To understand what is pH sensor, we need to know what is pH first. pH stands for potential of hydrogen, is measures of the acidity or alkalinity of the solution. It indicates the concentration of hydrogen ion present in the solution. The pH scales typically range from 0 to 14, where a pH value below 7 indicates acidity with the lower numbers representing a stronger acidity. A pH value of 7 is considered neutral, meaning the solution is neither acidic nor the alkaline. A pH value above 7 indicates alkalinity with the higher numbers representing a stronger alkalinity. So from pH sensor, we can measure the acidity or alkalinity of the water by determining its pH level indicating how acidic or basic the water is. So, good quality water requires neither low pH nor high pH. It requires a control level of pH for best performance. pH sensors are installed to measure the pH of the water flowing. There are valves installed in the system after these sensors to dump the water if pH increases or decreases to an alarming level. This presents the bad water from the distributing to the end point. Now let's understand why maintaining the correct pH level is very important. First, optimal treatment processes. Different treatment processes such as coagulation, disinfection are sensitive to the pH levels. Maintaining the correct pH ensures these processes are effective in removing contamination and pathogens from the water. Second, Corrosion control. pH levels can affect the corrosiveness of the water. Controlling pH helps prevent corrosion of the pipes, pumps and other infrastructure components. Increase their lifespan and ensuring the integrity of the distribution system. And third point is safe drinking water. Water with an extreme pH can be harmful to the health. Monitoring pH levels ensures that water leaving the treatment plant meets regularity standards and is safe for consumption. A pH sensor typically consists of a probe with a special glass membrane that responds to change in hydrogen ions concentration. The probe is immersed in the water being tested and the pH level is measured electronically and displays on monitoring devices or control panel. 
Operator use pH sensors to continuously monitor water quality throughout the treatment processes. If the pH level deviates from the desired range, adjustment can be made to treatment chemicals or processes to bring the water back into the compliance. If you have any questions regarding these sensors, you can ask us. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you all in my next video. Thank you.